Hey everybody. Today we're describing the shape of data sets qualitatively. Essentially, that just means building some vocabulary. So let's just run through some examples. Let's look at some histograms, frequency polygons, and stem plots, and uh, talk about what they look like. Here's our first example. It's a histogram. Here, the shape of the graph is roughly the same on the left half as on the right. So we say it's symmetric. Now, of course, with real data, we don't expect perfect symmetry. Um, we're describing the overall shape more than where specific values lie. A particular sort of symmetric graph is a uniform graph, where there's no particular pattern to the data. Values are approximately equally likely to fall into each of the bins. Like in this case, it has a fairly horizontally flat shape. In this particular case, um, I generated this histogram just by getting some random values between 180 and 250, and then building a histogram with that. Another very common sort of symmetric distribution is the bell curve, or the normal distribution. We'll be running into this a great deal throughout our study of statistics. Again, we don't mind small fluctuations away from the bell shape on each side, as long as we can detect that overall pattern. Um, the next thing we want to look at is a data set that is not symmetric. Just for variety's sake, let's look at some stem plots rather than histograms. So first of all, we see there's a lack of symmetry here. It does not look the same to the left and to the right of that center, which lies around 92 or so. We can do better though than just saying it's asymmetric. We can talk about sort of the direction of the asymmetry. In this case, there's a longer tail on towards the higher numbers away from that center than there is toward the smaller numbers. If we were to draw a histogram, we would see the tail extending further to the right than to the left. And therefore we say that this distribution is skewed to the right or that it's right skewed. Here's an example of a stem plot that is left skewed. The, there's a longer tail on the data towards the smaller values in the data set. One more example. You might be tempted to describe this as right skewed. The tail is further on the right, does go further on the right than on the left. However, that's really just an illusion created by a single value in that data set, um, that larger value there around 160 or 170. If we ignore that, we have a fairly symmetric distribution, one that may even have a bell shape. What we have here is an outlier a value that literally lies outside the usual range of the data. Now, outliers are interesting and complicated. This could be due to a data entry error, an observational error. Um, it could be an extraordinary case that should be set aside for separate analysis, um, or it could be perhaps an interesting phenomenon that we are particularly wanting to examine and identify separately from the rest of the data set. We should not, however, take it deeply into account when describing the overall shape of the data. 